The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate an improved, indirect immunofluorescent assay that uses a novel HEP2 dense fine speckled 70 knockout substrate to screen anti-nuclear autoantibodies and simultaneously confirm monospecific and mixed dense fine speckled 70 patterns. The novel HEP2 substrate uses a standard indirect immunofluorescence procedure and interpretation criteria for screening of clinically relevant anti-nuclear antibodies, which are also known as ANAs. The main advantage is the ability to distinguish the dense fine speckled 70 pattern from disease-associated homogeneous speckled or challenging mixed patterns at the screening step. Demonstrating the procedure will be Sophia Badanen, a technician from our quality control laboratory. For substrate slides, use glass slides with 12 wells on each slide, containing either the conventional HEP2 cells or a mixture of conventional and dense fine speckled 70 knockout HEP2 cells. Allow the pouches containing the substrate slides to equilibrate to room temperature for optimal performance and to prevent condensation of moisture on the slide surface prior to sample addition. This should take between 10 and 15 minutes. Once equilibrated to room temperature, carefully remove the substrate slides using one's fingers, avoiding contact between the slides and the sides of the pouch. Label the slides and place them in an incubation chamber that has been lined with moistened paper towels to prevent drying of the slides during sample and conjugate.